Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode on this channel. Today we are creating a UI, a list UI for a like messaging app, email app or whatever because we want to create this user interface and a prototype in like just a small amount of steps. It's super easy and super fast and I don't want to like waste any of my time and your time and usually we have these tight deadlines and we need to finish our user interfaces within a small amount of time and that's why we need to have a super super speed up process process now let's get right into this what we are going to need is just a simple entry uh, that we want to use that we want to like copy and I want to make the background white and I would like to set the the border to outside just like that so we don't really see it in on the inside so if I put it back inside you see that it's at the right and left and right or left and right side but if we set it to outside we only see the top and bottom one and that's what we actually want to do now let's just create a group out of that and this is basically the background of our entry we can make it slightly bigger but what I want to do right now is to create a new rounded area which will be the avatar space. So it's super low fidelity right here, what we are going to do right now. And simply hit O to create this oval or you can also like use the uh, oval right here in this menu. Then what we are going to do is to create a new name but we don't really need some we don't really need to set some text, just leave it like there. Change the color to the color you want to choose for the name and maybe like make it a little bit bigger so you have a clear vision of the name. And let's maybe also add like the email address or something and simply to do that just copy the layer. And in my case I would like to make this second layer a little bit smaller because the email address is less important. We can copy it again because I would also like to add like a timestamp so we know when the last message was sent. So what we are going to do is to place this on the right side and we want this to be aligned on the right. So if we change it uh, the time will be aligned on the right side. So that's basically all we have to do. Now let's, let's make the magic happen. What we are going to do at first is to select the oval because we want to add photos and you can simply do this with craft. The link to download craft is in the video description. Select photos, unsplash and you can simply select out of one of these categories and I want of course to cho choose a portrait because we want to have a real person right there and it's downloading the photo from Unsplash. Of course you can also generate a different one, just do the same again. We are getting a dog for some reason. But usually you should just get a nice photo that you can use for your file. Now after we have it, let's maybe like choose a nice one, no dog, no grandma or something like that. Just one that's looking kind of real. Head over to the second layer which in our case is a name. So simply go to custom type and say you want a female name because it's a female. And let's also add an email address. Just like that you can simply hit it again to just generate a different one. And as I said we want to have a type like a timestamp available. So we can like set a date right here. I don't see that you can set a timestamp, but let's just go with the with the date. That's also kind of fine. And that's all you have to do. Now we have this first entry ready. Do we have to copy it all again for like seven times? No, we don't have to do it. We simply can go to duplicate, select vertical, set a certain amount, maybe like eight entries or something like that. We could add a spacing just using this bar, but we don't need any spacings. Just say 
duplicate content and it's immediately loading up new content with new different photos with different names on it and different email addresses and also of course the time is unique so you don't have to really focus on that. It's super 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 simple and we like managed to create this user interface with like let's say 10 clicks. I guess we used really only like 10 clicks to create this whole user interface filled up with unique content in just a matter of time under 10 minutes I guess and it was so super easy and fasting up our process so much and it's so great. So you can do this with many different other uh, user interfaces and artboards as well. I also placed this user interface into uh, the video description so you can download it there and I hope you enjoyed this new tutorial using Craft. I really enjoy using Craft and I hope you also got a chance to try it out. As I said, it's also linked down for you to download fully free. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, just hit the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel and I would be very happy about that. I hope we see us sometimes and thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. See you!